welcome to the Spit and Swallow Beer Review. I'm Shag Dog. I'm Billy. You look like fucking, uh, what's that guy's name from Saturday Night Live? Uh, Black Eye. Uh, we played on Third Rock, or not Third Rock from the Sun, but the other one. The new, uh, the Tracy. studio. Tracy Morgan. <laughs> I, you might not get the Tracy Morgan look again. Who's guy? Tracy Morgan actually called out Myra Halmyra. <laughs> that's what they that's what they call the prison up there, it's Halmyra. The inmates. You guys are going to Halmyra. You guys. <laughs> that's funny. Uh Shag. Yeah, <laughs> Shag. Shag. Oh my truck. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> oh, no. I like him though. He's one of the funniest uh, uh, Saturday Night Live alumni. Yeah, I loved him, man. He's funny. Still, he's still funny. He's on another yeah. show. Yeah, I forgot what he's on now. Yeah, I, saw him, I saw him on something else the other night, too. But England Lager. Traditional yeah. Lager. It's the, Ir it's the, the Pennsylvania Dutch German Irish beer of Pennsylvania. Uh, Pottsville. Yeah, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. This one was probably brewed in Tampa, though, because they do have a brewery in Tampa, which I think gives England to all the southern states or something southeast. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It don't matter. But, uh, yeah, according to Beer Advocate, this one gets a uh, 78. It's American Amber Red Lager. It's 4.5% ABV, and it's year-round. Oof. I didn't get a full glass on that. Well, it's probably a six. So you open another one. <laughs> Stupid. So now you so now you get an open can. It's gonna get there, sit warm. Nah, it won't sit warm. I'll drink it. You got a twelve ounce can and a sixteen ounce glass. Of course, you're not gonna get a full glass. No, I was already drinking that one. I'm waiting on you. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, smell the aroma. Now, since your room is so dark there, it looks very, it looks like a black and tan. Or a yeah. porter. <laughs> that's what mine looks like. Mine looks the same. It's just the white. Nice amber color. Not as red as Achilles red, but a little but bit of red in there. A better taste. Yeah, different. Totally different, too. I mean, the for red lager taste, I mean, they're totally different. Even with the Sam Adams is a red lager, uh, their Boston lager, totally different than this, too. Right? Yeah. No, see, I like the Sam Adams Boston lager. I, just can't, I can't drink too many of those, though. It, they're like filling. Yeah. Like, drink like three or four of those. I'm like, dude, I don't even want any more beer. I mean, this smells, I mean, it's a red amber lager, but it almost has... A pale lager type smell to it, you know. Some pale ale or pale lager qualities to it, I guess. But it's it's nice. It's, it's nice. good. It's good. It's good. That, 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 that's good. Let's taste that shit. Ah, best beer out there. Now, Yingling makes a lot of beers, but you only get a couple of them here. But Black and Tan, which we get here. The Blonde. The Blonde uh, the, not good. I haven't had, oh, yeah, the Blonde. Yeah, they have the Porter, which is hard. It used to be easier to find around here. It's hard to find now, but it's, you can still find it in certain spots. Uh, the Flight, which I didn't like too much. Yeah, their Black and Tan one was all right. It yeah, it's their Porter mixed with their uh, premium beer. Which is hard to find around here. Uh, the Golden Pilsner Hershey Chocolate Pill Order, we found that this year finally. The Light Lager found. Lord Chesterfield L, cannot find that around here. Yeah, the light, the light one is horrible. I never had the light one, but Oktoberfest is all right. They have that around here. The Premium Beer, which is a basically a American lager, can't find that around here. Jammer found it once. Uh, you ever see that one? No, I've never it's seen a, that. It just says Jingling Premium Beer on the can. 
I've never seen that one. I see the you know yingling and then yingling blonde and then the yingling light. And I tried the light. I'm like, I'm gonna try this. How it is. I'm like, oh my god. I'm yeah, like, they have a they have a premium light too, which probably you can't find any around here. Probably they have one called Rain Raging Eagle Eagle Mango. Raging Eagle Mango. That must be sold so year round. It says. Must be up in Pennsylvania only. It's a fruit and field beer. Uh, and then they have, of course, the traditional lager. They did come out with a Bach a couple of years ago. I guess it must have been a one-time thing. It was like during the winter. They had a Bach, which was all right. Never seen that one either. Yeah, we did that one before the beer review back in like probably 2014 or 15. But that's the only time we ever saw it. It's not showing on here. So, yeah. Good thing. Good times. Yeah, I love Yangling. That's my go-to beer. Love it. Yeah, they should make a stout. I would try it. Yeah, all they got to do is Yangling Irish stout. There you go. Irish dry stout. How hard can it be, right? Not that hard, I guess. Yeah, I mean, if you already got a brewing company, you're already one step there. That is true. Uh yeah, I, I like England. Um, when I have it on tap, it's I guess it depends on either my mood or the place or something. Sometimes I get it on tap, it's just not doing it. Sometimes it's like, wow, this is the greatest beer ever. So I don't know if that's just the bar or... No, no, I think it tastes, it tastes different on the can than does the bottle. Yeah. The bottle I will not drink. I do not like it out of the bottle. Oh, really? Wow. It's probably because it's a green bottle. So if it too much sunlight, uh, yeah, I mean, well, yeah, because the brown bottles protect it more, but the green bottles, the clear bottles. But if it's in the twelve pack, it's it's enclosed, so there's not really too much light getting to it. But it tastes, it doesn't even taste the same out of the bottle. It just, yeah, can can it taste more like crap. Mm, yeah. And I I like England and draft so. All right, Diddy, here we go. Top 10. Top 10. All right, Diddy. Top 10 Italian athletes ever. Any sport. Athlete? Yeah. Uh, there you go. We did baseball one time. Mario Andretti. Mario, your race car, okay. you number 10. Mario. Mm hmm. Luigi. Not, not Luigi. <laughs> Mario and oh, oh, no, Mario. I'm your brother, Luigi. Yeah. Okay, so you got Mario and Um. All you got to do is really think of all sports. You could probably come up with 10. The fucking tennis player there. Andre, Andre Ag Agassi. Agassi. Yeah. Is he Italian? He's Italian. I don't know. Could be Albanian. I don't know. <laughs> Albanian. Right. Albanian's last name sound like Italian names. Same with the Italians when they were the Roman Empire. They used to own that whole area. So, yeah. Yeah, like uh, the, guy, the guy I work with, his name is Dante, but it's a D-A-U-T-I. I mean, it sounds kind of Italian. Yeah. And then another guy, another Albanian guy, was for more Januzzi. Yeah, and they could both go up to girls and just say they're a different ethnic every week. Hey, I'm Italian. Hey, I'm Albanian. Hey, I'm Greek. Yeah, and most girls will probably believe it. Um, Tony Saraguza. Really? You got him in your top ten, huh? Tony Saraguza, the great offensive, was it? No, defensive tackle for the Ravens. Yeah. For the Ravens, right? And he played for Indianapolis. Oh, yeah, the Indianapolis, yep. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm still, I don't really have much more. There's some boxers. Uh, oh, um, how about the uh, baseball the, players? The, um, yeah, um, what the hell was he? The fucking kicker that was in New England, Adam Ben Terry. Okay. 
So you think he's one of the top ten Italian athletes ever? Yeah. I mean, I'll go with that with his leg, but the rest of them. Yeah, the rest of them. Sucks, but I mean, he's a good kicker. Yeah. You got um, Jake Lamada. A boxer. Yeah. Okay. Um. The other fucking boxer. What the hell is his name? Uh, Mar Rocky Mar Rocky Marciano. Marciano. Yeah, you have to go with him. It's like coming to America. Come on. <laughs> Who is she? The fucker, Rocky Marciano is the greatest fucking puncher. <laughs> uh, Joe DiMaggio, you gonna throw him in there? Yeah, Joe DiMaggio. He'd yeah. be probably the top. He'd be the one. Yeah. I put him in that Rocky Marciano at two. Now, uh, Dan Marino, is he Italian? Yeah, Dan Marino. He'd be three. Yeah, he'd be up there. No Super Bowl, though. Vinny Testaverde. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Like number six, seven. College career, yeah. Maybe professional career, mediocre. A little, did a little bit better towards the end, though, with the Jets. And... There's not like a lot of Italian guys that are like fucking professional anything. How about that yeah. other Italian play for the Bulls? Chicago Bulls, uh, Michael Giordano. Huh? How about uh, Ray Ferraro? He uh, he played for the LA Kings. Who? Oh. Ray Ferraro. Never heard of. <laughs> yeah, he said he was pretty popular back in the eighties and nineties with the Kings, Los Angeles. Uh, I never heard of him. There's no Mario Lemieux. I think that's French or something. Yeah, he's. La, Mario Lamir. Yeah. Uh, I remember one time we were doing baseball and you're like, you know, the outfielders, you're like, wait, who? I named like what the internet would say was the top outfielders ever. And some Italian guy we never heard of him play for the Yankees. You're like, oh yeah, he's Italian. He has to be them. <laughs> I like Reggie Jackson. Uh, you know, these people are like, what? what was that guy's name? Oh yeah, he's Italian. Fuck it. Put him in there. <laughs> Well, we're not doing basketball again because number one is Jordan, period. Hands down. I don't give a fuck about LeBron, the crybaby fucking. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. gotta I gotta be like Jordan, so I'm gonna remake Space Cam and then take half the fucking characters or whatever out or whatever the hell he's doing now. Uh, LeBron James sucks. LeBron James. Yeah, I mean, I guess you get get that with every generation because before us, probably everybody say either Kareem Abdul Jabbar or Wilt Chamberlain were the greatest, you know, or who the hell's that white guy is way back in the but, you know. My thing is is they go by well, stats. Everybody, I mean, LeBron's been in the fucking league for like eighteen years, whatever. Of course he's gonna surpass Jordan in points and all this shit. But when it comes down to to clutch playing in a game Jordan, hands down. LeBron, no. I would not take him as my clutch player ever. I see. All right. Top 10 Italian porn stars. I don't know that. I'm I mean, not sure. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> Probably aren't in here. Sure. Are. I don't know. All you got to do is take real Italian names and make Poor names on like uh, Tony, Sarah, Sarah Gusa, Tony, Sarah Gusa, <laughs> Sarah Gusa, uh, yeah, Sarah Gusa. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Rocky Dickerano, <laughs> Rocky Ponderano. And we're talking about dudes. It should be women in porn stars. <laughs> No, it's just funny shit. Uh, yeah, top ten. That was your top ten, folks. Yeah, top ten. How about top ten uh, mafia movies? Can you even think of ten? Oh, I don't know about 10, but yeah. I would have number one. Well, you got to start from number 10. 
Well, I can't start at 10. I'm going to start from number one and work my way backwards. Okay. Number one would be Goodfellas. Yeah. Everybody knows, oh, the Godfather. No, Goodfellas. Goodfellas was the best mob movie ever. And then I say the Godfather 1 and 2. Okay, right next. I would say number four would be the Bron- a Bronx Tale. The what? A Bronx Tale. Oh, Bronx Tale, yeah. yeah that would be number four. Um, kind of weighing on three and four, but I give Godfather 1 and 2, and then, and then the Bronx Tale at four. Yeah. I mean, the Godfather 3 was... It was all right. I mean, he, the guy that wrote those books, they came up. I have a, I have a book. It's, it's after all that happened, and it comes down there later in life and, and stuff. And it, that book was good. They should make a movie out of that one. Yeah, I think that would be a really good one. Uh, did you like the um, the one that was called the American Gangster? American Gangster with Denzel Washington. Is that the one with Denzel? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Oh, that, yeah. Oh, that Donald Yeah. American oh, Russell. Man. Yeah, Russell Crowe and Denzel. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm thinking the other one. What's the old one with Robert De Niro when he leaves and go to Buffalo and then he comes back when he's older? Ah, oh, shit. What was the other one? American. Maybe an American. Oh, far, I can't remember the name of that one. Let me look it up. Um, another good one was, um, what's the name of that fucking movie? Oh, um, they had, uh, The Iceman. That was pretty good. It wasn't was Italian, it? but it was a mafia movie. Yeah. I think they would have made it better because originally it was supposed to be Ricky, uh, Mickey Bork was supposed to play him. Okay, uh, the one with Once Upon a Time in America. Oh, Once Upon a Time. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, I worked in the top five, six. That was yeah. pretty good. How about The Untouchables with uh, Kevin yeah. Costner and Robert De Niro? The Untouchables. That was and pretty then good. Another one that was called, uh, it had, um, God, what the hell was the name in there? Christian Slater played Lucky Luciano. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget him. That was a pretty good one. And then they had another one that's called Made Men. That was pretty good. Yeah, that was called Mobsters, the one with Christian Slater. Mobsters. Yeah. That was all right. It was kind of low budget. Not yeah. the greatest actors, but it was all right. And then they had the, the, the movie Gotti that uh, uh, John Travolta played. John Travolta one. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't bad. That was pretty good. As better than well, the one with Arsan Desante, Armani. yeah, that was better. I thought that that was better. Uh, John Gotti movie there, yeah, that was the original one. Then they did the one with John Travolta. Yeah, it's pretty yep. pretty good. Uh, what's the other one? Casino, of course. Casino, yeah, that'd be number five. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That was pretty good. But it, you talk, um, they talked to this guy. Is um, well, let's, last, let's. Oh, go ahead, Diddy. His last name was Pilata. He used to work. He actually was out in Vegas with with uh, with the mob and shit back then. And he's like, ah, there's some parts in that. He was actually a, a film consultant on the movie for a Casino. Yeah. Which is uh, pretty crazy. Frank Collado is his name. Oh. If you like Frank Collado. Right. Henry, Hill. Henry Hill. Henry Hill. Oh, go ahead with Henry Hill. What? Henry Hill was a consultant on Goodfellas, too. Yeah. I'm sure they didn't put everything he said. Well, yeah, they didn't put a lot of stuff in the movie. He said, you know, they, they had to kind of minimize it for fucking reality time. And then one of the one of the best movies of recent times is um, what the hell is it called? The fucking I just watched it the other day. It has uh, Joe Pesci, Robert De Niro. Oh, the Irishman. The Irishman. 
That was really good. Yeah, it's just kind of long and slow. Yeah, but. They, I mean, they said they made a lot of different things up here and there, but I mean, it was, the story yeah. plot was pretty good. Now, here you go. This is from StudioBinder.com, 30 Best of Mafia Movies uh, or Gangster Movies Ranked All Time 2021. Here we go. Number 30. My, if my mouse is good. Oh. I have, like, old movies. Ah, your mother, your fucking pops up there. Yeah. Uh, they might not. Uh, number 30 is American Gangster. Does a lot. I thought that was pretty good for African American. Oh, gang gangster movies, movies. yes. Yeah. That, gangster. Was, that was actually a really yeah. good movie. Uh, number 29, King of New York. I don't recall ever seeing that one. That was with Christopher Walken. Yeah, I don't remember that one. I, I saw a little bit of it, but maybe I'll have to watch that one someday. Uh, number 28 is The Friends of Eddie Coyle, 1973. Oh, another, another good one I watched not too long ago was Kill the Irishman. That was fucked with me. That was about Ooh. Danny Green. Uh, trying to take out the Cleveland Mafia. Oh. Cleveland has like, a mafia? Well, maybe not now, but back in the you know, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, they had a big mafia. Uh, there's one from night, uh, number 27. It's Killing Them Softly, 2012. Brad Pitt. Oh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, I saw that. And James Gandolfini is in it also. Yeah. Tony Soprano. Yeah. Uh, they got number 26, The Untouchables. That's good. Uh, 25 is The Killing, 1956. Uh, it's a heist movie. I never heard of it. It's a Stanley Kubrick movie, actually. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't know about that. I never heard of that. And there is Stanley Kubrick, The Killing. The Kubrick's third film, The Killing, has given enormous inspiration to the Reservoir Dogs. Unusual Shepherds and Logan Lucky. Number 24 is Mafioso, 1962. Uh, American Fascination Mafia, Albert Sorti delivers incredible performance. Never heard of it. Uh, Scarface is number 23. That was another good one. Menace to Society is number 22. Uh, come on, come on, I'll suck your dick. Gangbang, sure, <laughs> I was gangbang. Uh, what the hell's the guy in there? I'll suck your dick for a cheeseburger. He's like, like I can. motherfucker just said he sucked my dick for a cheeseburger. He's like, you fucking serious, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> fucking shoots the fuck. Hey, ain't buy my cheeseburger. <laughs> now, this one wasn't too bad, but it's, it's not great to my standards, but uh, it's Mean Streets. A 1973 uh, Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, uh, Johnny Boy. Uh, film takes place in New York. Scorsese's experience in the neighborhood from front and center is mafia, police corruption, and crime in spades. What more could you expect? And it's uh, mean Streets. I, I heard of it. I never seen it. I think what's his name's in it too. Uh, the guy that plays guy with, uh, Harvey Keitel. I think he's in that one too. Yeah, Harvey Keitel's in that one. Mean Street? Yeah. It's 19 what? 76? 1973. Oh, well, that was before I was born. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number 20 is Donnie Brasco. That was a good one. I forgot about that one. 19 is Snatch, which is kind of like <laughs> English, Scottish. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't yeah. really uh, 18 is something called The General, 1998. I don't even know what the hell that one is. No picture of it. Uh, Good man. Yeah, 17 is Harder They Come, 1972. It's uh, African American type one. I've never heard of that one. Uh, number 16 is Angels with Dirty Faces, 1938. Uh, that, that one has. I don't even know who the hell plays in it. Oh, well. Uh, 15 is The Departed with uh, Matt Damon and... That was pretty good. That's yeah. supposed to be like Whitey Bulger type shit. But yeah. That was another good movie. Uh, Black, what is it called? Black Friday? I don't know. But Johnny Depp put Whitey, Whitey Bulger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. Uh, there's another one called The Long Good Friday, 1980. That's number 14. Never heard of it. 
Uh, 13 is Boys in the Hood. 12 is Miller's Cross in 1990. Uh, the Coen Brothers, Miller Cross, from uh, Prohibition era crime movie, okay. Uh, Touch of Evil, 1958, is number 11. The French Connection, 1971, is number 10. Gamora, from 2008, is number 9. I don't even know what the hell that's like, Russian Mafia. I thought that, uh, I thought that was like a fucking TV series or something. Children in this film say they want to be like Tony Montana with the life of crime and fine is not the one they had envisioned. I don't know what the hell it is. Some weird yeah. foreign. Uh, a Prophet in 2009. Never heard of that one. City of God, 2002. Eastern Promises, number six. Never heard of it. The Public Enemy, 1931. Yeah, never heard of that. Uh, Once Upon a Time in America is number four. Uh... Godfather is number three. Goodfellas number two, and Godfather Part Two is number one. Get out of here! <laughs> Goodfellas is the best fucking mob movie. Yeah. <laughs> I like Godfather Part Two though. That's my favorite out of all the Godfathers. Yeah, I like Godfather too. But um, there's the other one I saw that Har Harvey Cat. No, what the fuck's his name? Not Harvey Cattell. It's uh, God. What the hell is his name? By the way, they're like old mobsters, and they're in retirement home and shit, and uh, they break out. And it's like kind of like comedy. It's fucking funny as hell. I'm gonna look this way. Top twenty, because that's gangster. I want mafia. We don't want a gangster, right? Good folks. Oh, oh, and before we go, too, um, there's an award I had supposed to give out earlier, but it's for the best Irishman of the Spitter Swallow Beer Review. And the trophy goes to Shag Dog. Oh, shit. Oh, because you give yourself fucking trophies. Irishman of the Year. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> the whole thing just fall apart. <laughs> um, yeah. So, hey, you want to want to see some a uh, funny fucking TV f series? It's called F is for Family. It's a cartoon, right? Yeah, it's on Netflix. It's I tried so watching it once. I watched one episode, but I just couldn't oh get to shit, it. dude! It is so fucking funny, man. Have you watched uh, WandaVision? No. You don't have Disney Plus, do you? No, I don't have any of That's Vision and Wanda, or the Scarlet Witch, but it's pretty good. Well, I don't have uh, Netflix either, but I found a website where you can watch any any TV series that's out there at Netflix or any other thing. Are you getting viruses? No. Oh. It's a... It's a really good. I've been watching movies for freaking the last like two weeks on there. Mm. That one website you got from Jose, that damn website get my computer a virus with it. Oh, the freaking prom wire bullshit. Whatever that it was. Yeah, that doesn't work. Yeah, it sucks too because if you paused it you, and you stopped That's it, you had to start from the beginning. Yeah. The same with on Onion Play. They changed something on there. I can't watch it on Fire Stick anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm a little set, upset with Disney Plus because uh, they're doing an Obi Wan Kenobi series with Ewan McGregor, who played Obi Wan Kenobi in episodes one, two, and three. And they're also doing a oh another the Rogue One Star Wars movie. The guys in that movie and the robot. They're doing a series with them. But it's not, they're not going to be out until 2022. I was like, shit. Well, check this website out. It's called 123movie.com. Oh, yeah. I've seen that before. Dude, it said best quality. Everything is in HD. I mean, any TV oh. series you want to watch is on there. Huh. That's why I started watching that. F is for family. Oh, my God, dude. This shit is so fucking funny. Now, Jammer always tells me about this uh, one mafia show. 
it's where the guy uh, goes with protection, witness protection. He goes to like Norway or Finland or some shit. I forget the name of the show. It's the name of the town that's there. Yeah, but I couldn't get into it. I was like, <laughs> it's mafia dude in Norway and shit. And like, I tried to, I tried to watch like this um, thing. Like I watch a lot of documentaries and shit, and it's about like the English, the mafia in England. I'm like. Yeah, I, dude, I can't get past the fucking accents, man. I'm like, they, I can't watch this shit. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Now, Snatch is a pretty good movie. It's more of a heist movie, I think, than it is Mafia, but it ha does have gangster elements in it. But, uh, what was yeah, the, what was the one I said? I never, saw, I'm like, we were talking about it. I was uh, like, 20 something. I can't remember. Like man, I need to watch that one. I never, never even heard of it. Mm. And had um somebody like Al Pacino or somebody in it. Oh shit, I can't find that page of them. Uh, oh, there it is. Let's see. Let's see if I can see it. That Kings of New York was Christopher Walken. Killing That's them softly. Christopher Walken is in the one where he's a, like a in a retirement home. He's an old mafia guy and they all break out of the retirement homes and start a mafia group. It's fucking oh, okay. Funny. Yeah, I've never seen that one. That's fucking, I don't know the name, but it's funny as hell. Uh, mean Streets is the one from 1973 with Robert De Niro and Harvey Cartel. Yeah, Cartel. Mean Streets. That's the one I got to watch. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I've seen it. It's kind of like, well, you can tell it's 1973, but it's not too bad. They're like, they're both friends or something there. Yeah. Yeah. Sna Snatch was all right, but it was kind of weird too. Yeah. It sounds like a porno. But then with Brad Pitt in that movie, he plays like a Scottish. He's like a fighter. He's like a, a Scottish gypsy or something. You can't understand a word he's saying at all. And someone said, "What did he say?" Oh, he said, "You go down to the bar and you have a drink." Yeah. Or, like someone can understand them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but Brooklyn Brooklyn Tale was pretty good. Brooklyn Tale, is that what it was? Bronx Tale. Bronx Tale, yeah. Either or. Manhattan Tale is going to be part two. It wasn't even in the top 30. I know. <laughs> like, are you fucking serious? Well, that's more of a story of a boy becoming of age, yeah. Yeah, it's stupid. He it just happens to hang out with some gangsters. <laughs> yeah, but the what once a time once upon a time in America is a pretty good one. Uh, that's uh what's his name to that? Uh Woods, whatever Woods, uh show the hell's name. What? The guy's uh, Robert De Niro and then James Woods is James the guy. Woods. Yeah, he becomes a senator or some shit later on. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I love watching these movies, man. Like, yeah. the, like the Sopranos movie or the what TV. The, what the hell I mean, was that? Uh, I was something I put. Oh, Jesus. The Sopranos, uh, they have a movie coming out. It's called the, um, it's like the King of Newark or something like that. Oh, yeah, I saw something about that. It's, but it's actually the, um, the dude that played Tony Soprano's actual son that plays the young Tony Soprano mm. in the movie. It's supposed to take place back in the 60s. And oh. Yeah. Oh, it's like the Kings oh. of Work or some shit like that. Yeah. Donnie Brasco is good. Uh, Kings of New York. I've seen parts of Kings of New York. Kings of New York and Chris Rock. I just can't remember. It's been so long. Yeah, I'm not
Oh. Here we come. The walking down the street. I think Joe Pesci had a very small part in the Once Upon a Time in America. I don't know. Because I know yeah. William, William Forsythe was in it. Uh, James Hayden, yeah. Jeff Connolly, James Wood, Joe Pesci, James Hayden, he was one of the friends. Treat Williams, Bert Young. Danny Aiello was in it. I remember Danny Aiello. Yeah, he died uh, a couple years ago, 2018. Yeah. It wasn't even big news when he died or anything either. I didn't even see it until like. I remember he used to have the TV show. It was uh, he was like a private detective. I don't remember what it's called. Oh uh, yeah. Very good show. Yeah, what the hell is that one movie he's in? Uh, that's a good mafia movie too. It's never included, but. Uh, it's a dude that gets stabbed, and they find he's lucky. The lucky guy he gets stabbed. They find out he has cancer. Uh, then he wins the lotto, but then the mafia takes his ticket or, uh, or some shit. Uh, but he gets the ticket back or something. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna find it out right now. Uh, why, why you're finding out? I'm going to grab a beer. Alrighty. Not right, move. I want to do the right thing. Oh, oh 20, 29th Street. It's like a fucking hour video. What the hell's going on? Almost. Yeah. Uh, it's twenty called Twenty Ninth Street. Twenty Ninth Street. Yeah, a, the story of Frank Pesh. He played Frank Pesh's father. Uh, the guy that's on one of those cop shows played Frank Pesh. Uh, it's a, supposedly based on the life of a real person. Uh, Basically, he, he gets a winning lotto ticket back then in the 70s or whatever the hell it was. You got a lotto ticket. You It was like, okay, these 10 people win for the big drawing. So he didn't win nothing yet. Uh, not even the big drawing. Well, his dad owed the mob some money, so he gave the mob the ticket to pay for the debt. You know? no, okay. And they might win. They're one out of 10 people who are going to win it. It's time. And through the whole movie, he's really lucky. He gets stabbed. He's, he's dating a Puerto Rican girl. Her brother stabs him. He finds out he's got cancer. Where they got stabbed, they're able to cut it out. A whole bunch of shit like that. That's fucking lucky. And then, then they end up getting the ticket back somehow at the end of the movie. And, it seems it's called the movie Luck. And, and they win. Yeah, I know. That's what they should call it. That was a good movie, but I mean, surprise it. it can't find it anywhere, you know? See if there's a trailer for it. Let's check it. Probably on YouTube if it is. Yeah. Twenty nine trailer. Street trailer. 
Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get it right here. Screen share. Screen share, share. All right, share. Share. Share screen. Share audio. Chrome. Uh, which one is it? This is just way too much work for it. I know. Oh. All right, there it is. Frank Pesh Sr. worked hard for 35 years to build a good life. Did you make that? Yeah, I made it, right? And it cost me a dollar to make one dollar. Pop, oh, you get better pizza in Korea. Who the hell made that? Michelin? Why well, you put it in the trunk and use it as a spare? To raise a loving family. Do you see my service revolver around here? Oh, I gotta do everything around here. I gotta find you, Garland. Maybe I should ride in the car with you. To have his own lawn. The heat from his body is burning a hole in my lawn. His son never worked an honest day in his life maybe i could become an astronaut is it is there little people going around in your head and he couldn't even get drafted cover your left eye and read line seven on the chart tag of thought is there something wrong with you boy i really don't think it's fair that we got to take a test that we didn't study for it's a damn urine examination boy what are you some kind of mama look you'll never get a city job excuse me i just need a rope i hang myself but after today he may Never have to work again. I'm a finalist in the lottery. Right here, I'm a finalist in the lottery. I got a shot at $6.2 million. I got 8 million tickets sitting in a shoebox upstairs, and you bought one ticket. I'm lucky. God protects the dumb. Zalo, this is my girlfriend Sheila. She's been dying to meet you, Frank. Got the lottery ticket on you? Yeah, one. I might be interested in buying it. They'll cut your throat and go out for a calzone afterwards. Mom, we got problems. I never wanted a ticket. I was perfectly happy in my life without it. Danny Aiello. You didn't give him the ticket. Did you give him the ticket? Anthony LaPaglia. Do you feel lucky tonight? You have no idea. And the lucky, lucky winner is Money Back. 29th Street. Frankie. Frankie. Come on. Why? Wake up. Why? I really think I nailed it this time. Oh, no, get that out of here. <laughs> All right. Oh, did he? Get his fucking mind. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but it's, a, it's more, they made it almost like a comedy, but it's a little bit serious, too, in certain parts, you know, so... With the whole trailer, man, looking like it's a damn Italian funny comedy. How they're making fun of us, huh? Is that what you, you think? I'm a clown. What? What? Wait, wait, wait. What'd you say? You said you sound funny. Funny how? You, you know, like like the way you, you you tell the story. No, I don't know. You said it. You said I'm funny. How am I funny? What the fuck is so funny about me? I huh? tell me. And Henry said. Tommy, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I must have you, you stutter and fucking prick. I'm wondering about this guy. He might fold under fucking questioning. Uh, what 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 the fuck do you want? Well, the waiter didn't want to bring this over. I mean, you're you're in for I mean you're in for fucking seven T's. I don't mean to be disrespectful. Oh, you don't mean to call me a deadbeat in front of my friends and, and you're disrespectful? No, I didn't mean it like that, Tommy. What do you mean? He's like, come on, Tommy. He's like, come on, what? Smash him in the head with a fucking bottle. <laughs> what the fuck are you looking at? Hey, you want to hear something funny? This prick asked me to quit for this kid last week. I charged him seven fucking thousand. <laughs> Watch the movie way too many times. That's my favorite fucking movie, dude. That, that's the best fucking movie ever. New yeah, York. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they killed the best character on it. Huh? Unfortunately, in that movie, they killed the best character. Who, Tommy? Yeah. Well, I watched... Um, documentaries with Henry Hill 
years and years. Wow, he died in 2017, 2016, some shit like that. But he did a lot of interviews and stuff. He's like talking about that. He's like, the guy was in the movie is he's supposed to be Tommy D. Simone, but it was changed or whatever. And um, he says, dude, Tommy was fucking crazy. He's like, this guy was a fucking lunatic. He said he would fucking kill people just to fucking kill them and see how they fucking died and, and the reaction to how they get shot in the face with a fucking bullet. He's like, we were walking down the street one day and this guy walks by us and he's like, bumped into Tommy and Tommy's like, hey, he's like, fuck this guy. He's like, the guy turns around and he's like, what'd you say? And he's like, he shoots this guy right in the fucking face and this guy just fucking falls down dead in the fucking... <laughs> he's like, the guy was a fucking psychopath. <laughs> he's like, that's why I got on drugs. He's like, I'm like, holy fuck, these people are all crazy. He's like, I need to be on drugs just to fucking be in the same fucking boat with these guys. <laughs> Oh, fuck it. That's a good movie, though. Funniest thing is I watch that every time it's on TV, I watch it. The kids are like, Dad, you're watching this movie again? I'm like, this movie is awesome, man. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, guess we should end the saga of bullshit. That's what. Uh, although we don't watch Full Metal Jacket, but that from that time frame there, that era, like Full Goodfellas Metal back Jacket. back then, Full Metal Jacket, Goodfellas, couldn't get enough of either one of them. Was like, I remember, I remember the first time. This is the funniest shit I ever remember. Back then, we had VHS, and we had Goodfellas on VHS at the house. And V, and I don't remember who the hell the other person was. They're at the house. We're watching the fucking movie. Now, this is 89. It came out in 89. So it was 89. We're watching it. And um, they get to the part where the, the guy pulls up with the truck to the diner and he goes inside and they steal his truck. And he knew they were stealing the truck, whatever. He, they paid him. And he's like, hey, he's like, you got a payphone? You got a payphone? The guy's like, yeah, it's over there. Why? He's like, you're not going to believe it. Two fucking niggas just stole my fucking truck. <laughs> <laughs> that was V and was it another black guy? Was yeah, that? Uh, V and uh, somebody. I don't remember who the fuck the other guy. Did they, right. did they the like fuck? it? <laughs> <They're> like, <"What?" laughs> oh, that's funny. That's a typical thing, you know. It's like the white women. Is, oh, my car just got carjacked. That's a black guy. And they only know who it was. You know. They just assumed it was a black guy. But he just left the keys in the ignition and shit. And they, to walk by him, he gives him a nod. So they're in the fucking truck. Yeah. He's playing around some black dude. <laughs> um. I wonder how much a payoff for that would be. You know, take a tr well, it was a truck full of cigarettes or something, right? Well, back then, it was like, I mean, they would fucking trucks and shit would come out, out of, well, now it's uh, JFK, back then, whatever the fuck it was called. Trucks would come out of there and they would just fucking stop the trucks at gunpoint and the dude would get out and they would give him like a couple hundred bucks and. Be like, all right, go on your way, and we know who you are. You know who you don't know who we are, but we know who you are. We're taking your fucking truck, and you can say you got fucking carjacked or hijacked or whatever, and they would just fucking take it. That's a nice way, or they just shoot you and take it. Yeah, but they used to get, actually give them a couple hundred bucks and be like, all right, you got carjacked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then when they were out at the fucking airport, all the money coming back from overseas, it was untraceable money. Fucking a couple million dollars. Untraceable. That yeah, was just money being transferred from, I guess, soldiers from over in like Germany and shit like that. 
from German currency. It was transferred to American currency, and it was all straight cash coming into the fucking thing. And they just fucking took it all. Right. Uh, oh. Uh, what do you say? One more? Well, I don't give a fuck. Give me one more video, I, I guess. Tomorrow, so. This one's 50 minutes. I was supposed to, but I don't have to. Yeah. yeah. And we don't have to do another one. I can do one by myself then. All right, I'll do another one. I don't have any more yingling, though. This is my last yingling I had. I got Miller High Life. Miller High Life and Killian's Red. I think I might go with the Killian's, maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't do Miller High Life. Eh, I got it in the bottle and the can. Either one's fucking disgusting. <laughs> You're all right. Some of the best corn beers. Ah, shit. What time is it? All right. Uh, sure. I'm for it. Sure, Arthur and Jose are gonna try to stop my after work. Look good, get in my camera. No, it's right. that pizza, so they'll probably be here around the right now. They come over to get pizza? They'll come over and drink beers, go bring beers and sit and hang out for like an hour or so. Really? They bring any fat chicks? No. Uh, oh, they're both married, right? Yeah, pretty much. Well, Arson's married, Jose's engaged. Yeah, that'll be forever. <laughs> Fuck. I just, need a fr I just need a friend with benefit. Fuck all that bullshit. Well, you just ask them both if they like cross country skiing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, a friend with benefit would be great. Just somebody to watch movies with. I like, come on over once a week, watch a movie, and let's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and see you later. See you next week. Watch movie. Oh. Help. Come over. Let's fuck like three or four times a week. And let's go to fuck home. Uh, that's too much. Three to four times a week. That's too much right there. Yeah. Because uh, then be, they, that's more time for them to find out more shit about you. Yeah. Days a week. Just come over. Get naked. Get out. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, Bruno agrees with you. Yeah, he does. All right, he's like, he's like, I need a friend with benefit too. All right, we'll see you in a little bit, folks. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna have to edit this one down. But hey, what time they get off work? I don't know. Probably around eleven. All right, see you in a second. All right.